hello guys it's Ali and welcome to today's video so today I thought we'd do a little bit of work in my botanical journal if it's the first time you've seen this uh, journal it's a big big journal I'm working on off cam well on and off camera it measures just short, short of 12 inches by nearly nine inches uh, yeah I've not picked it up in a while I've done a little bit off camera not much I've put a cluster on this pocket and I've started putting some ephemera in I've put this big journal card in this fold out and then I've put a journal I thought it might be easy to you know put because there's all my ephemera that I've been making or botanical ephemera so I've got plenty to go in so I've been putting bits in as I've been going along that one and they just fold over that's the first page and then in this page here i've put this because it's sort of botanical nature i wanted you know a couple of naturey bits in as well but this is just a little flip out and then is that a pocket at the top i can't remember whether that oh no it's a pocket at the back so i'll have to put something in there but i think what i'm going to do is i don't want that white on there i'm going to just take that off because it's not glued on or anything I'm just going to take that off and then I might put some paper on the inside then I can put something in the pocket uh, yeah I'll cover that with some paper in fact I might do that now and then I don't forget to do it right where can we journal go I'll just stand it up there for a minute right let's just cut along here just get rid of it if I don't do it now I'll probably forget about it I'm not sure when this video will go up I've got quite I'm trying to video in advance because I've got my mum coming next week uh, today is the uh, where are we Sunday the 12th of November and my mum's coming on the 18th so I'd like to just get you know um, some videos done and then yeah and then they're done let's just over there like that i'm not going to be too fussy let's cut that across there yeah we'll see how we go i've got quite a few done i'm not sure there'll be as many as i normally do but there'll be some going up <laughs> See if I can get that in there. Right, I'm just going to cut that so I can see that it's going to fit. Yeah, and then I'm just going to glue, try and glue this in here. Let's just get them pages, try and keep my desk just a little bit sorted. Right, where's my glue? I'm wondering if a glue stick might be better, might it might give me a bit more wiggle room. Uh, glue stick, where might you be? I've got one here. Let's have a look at this. And I'll just get some paper to glue on and then I'm not sticking all my desk up. Right, let's see if we can get this inside this envelope then without getting in a sticky mess. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen, guys. I don't know how to do it. Ooh. Sticky glue. I hate glue sticks. I think the wet glue might have been better, to be honest. No, that is not going to go in there. Let me fold it over. Oh, too gloopy that. Right, let's just try a bit of wet glue. Put too much of that on. Right, take two. Where's my glue? Let's try this one. I only want it so you can't see the white on the envelope. Let's try that and see if we can get that in. There we go, that's better. 
I don't even need that little white piece on the end. Right, let's just try and get rid of these creases. Let's get rid of that. That'll do. That's better. Let's just get rid of them bits off the end. <laughs> oh, I had to put a little piece of paper in. Yeah, that's better. I'm just going to see if I can just ink along this edge a little bit just to hide that. edge and I'll have to put a little piece on this little flap here I think no I won't I'm just going to ink over that I'm just going to put some ink over it I might just stick something on the back let's just get a little piece of ephemera or something I've got plenty here yeah let's put that leaf on um, Yeah, that's better, isn't it? That looks nicer than seeing the whites. Right, which way is the envelope going now? Which way did I have it? I had it that way, didn't I? Let's just put a bit of ink down there. I made this piece of ephemera a long time ago. So we've got two pockets there, so we want stuff in there. Um, I'm going to leave that till... I'm going to put some of the kit ephemera in there. I might put one, something big in this pocket. Let's have a look what we can put in here. Um, let's have one of these big journal cards if it'll fit in. No, too big. Um, what's that one? What's a pocket? Pocket. Have a look at that one right that one will fit in we'll pop that in there right let's put this back in my journal in this where did i have it, it was in that pocket wasn't there no where did i have it oh it was this pocket here right so that and then i've just put two little tags in here so that page i've put this big tag in this pocket so we're up to this page here let's get that page out right, this page first of all which way around does it go that way okay i think i'm going to put a little pocket on the front of here i've just seen some little pockets in my ephemera um here one of these going to stick one of these on this is the beauty isn't it when you've made so much ephemera you can just go through and easily embellish your journal mind you i have been making it for months and months this botanical ephemera but it's worth it now because now i can just go through my journal and just embellish i might leave that as writing space actually i might just put something a leaf or something in the corner might add a big notebook into the middle of it to be honest i might put another elastic in or just add a another big notebook to it right i want something on the back as well uh, what have we got maybe a little cluster or something because you could still write on there uh, put you there okay we'll just put a bit of ink around the outside it'd be a nice journal won't it when it's finished hopefully anyway Right, let's pop you back in the journal then. Let's just put that there. Let's grab my journal. Should have got a couple of pages out at a time, really. Right, let's just get this and let's pop this back in. It's so big. Right, let's get this next page out. Nice. We only need this. We'll only have time to do this one today. 
because there's four sides to it let's just put my journal on the floor behind me it's too big to go anywhere else right let's have a look what we've got so i've got an envelope so i want to put something on this page because there's absolutely nothing on there is there at all so let's have a look what i've got here i grabbed out some book pages and some other bits and pieces uh, maybe we could make a flip with this Edith Holden book page right do I want let's just fold that down a bit there and then if I put that in there like that, glue the top and bottom and add that as a little pocket and then add that as a flip. This was, uh, who, who did I watch? Carol Laws. She makes these little flip outs. That's who I watched do this. Um, yeah, I think it's a really nice flip. Especially with the book pages being the right size. So I'm just going to press that down for a minute. Right, now then, I don't know whether I want to put anything on. I think I'm just going to leave that as it is, that pocket. I might do some stenciling down here. Let me just grab my stencils, guys. I did get some botanical stencils out just for this project so let's find let's get a stencil that one will do nicely okay let's stencil down here i bought this off amazon i bought some new uh you know makeup brushes for my inks and i bought this little tray to put it in 5.99 off amazon i was pleased with it so it just sits on the edge of my desk so i've got one for all my colors now Let's just put some stenciling down the edge. Yeah, that's okay, I think. I might put a little bit of a piece of ephemera at the bottom, even a little pocket or something. Let's have a look what we've got, or a one of these nice yeah i think i'll put one of these little clusters just and have it as a tuck put that along there yeah we'll do that let's get the glue off and then we've got that little tuck there so we need something to go in there don't we uh, let's have a look what i've got a journal card maybe yeah we'll put that in there oh well, that's a nice page isn't it do you know the for the middle i think i don't know whether to leave it as writing space because there's a lot of writing space there isn't there and maybe just put something in each corner just um i might put a little bit of stenciling just randomly over if you can still journal over the stenciling just in the background yeah i like that stenciling in the background right let's have a look what we can put on or oh, i don't yeah i'm going to leave it for journaling let's just put something on the we could always put um some flowers maybe yeah and then we've got a nice big journaling space with it being elastic you can take it out to write on and that so it'd be nice to have some writing space won't it with a journal so big just put right and then we'll do something on the back 
and we've got the envelope here as well too right what do i want to do on the back i've got this well i've got these i put them through some tim holtz 3d embossing folders so i'm thinking we could make a pocket with one of these which one or a tuck right what i'm going to do let me just grab a piece of i've got some gilding polish here this is copper shine i'm just going to get my applicator i don't know whether these will still work these applicators i'm just going to go over it's a bit i think it's dried up Get some out. Oh, it's coming out now. I've had them for so long and not used them. It's just been sat in the drawer. I don't know whether you can reactivate these in any way, shape. I have got others, but I was just going to try and get to the end of these and then they're not wasted. Right, that'll do. Let's just put the lid on. I don't know whether there's any way you can <laughs> bring them back to life. I'm not sure. Let me just get rid of all this. These bits. Where's my bin gone? Right, and then what we thought we could do was have it as a corner tuck, but we need to put something on the front, don't we? Let's just glue this down first. Uh, which way do I want that one and across the bottom? Put it on there. Maybe a little bit of stenciling as well. What should we put on this little pocket? Um, let's have a look in here, see whether we've got something. What I could do is I've got some of these. You know, they're pockets. Uh, let's have a look. What's these? Oh, that's a booklet. I've got so much stuff I forgot about in here. Let's find a big journal card first. And let's put that in there. Oh, it's coming up at the bottom. Put that in there. Let's put something on here. Uh, what should we have? Let's have a look. I'm going to put that on. I think I'm going to just scruff the ends up a little bit. Let's get my scissors. I'm just going to distress the edges a little bit. Like that. And I'm just going to get... Um, I'll get some kitchen towel. Bear with me, guys. I'm just reaching up for some kitchen towel. I'm just going to get some of that. I'm just going to fold it over. <clears throat> and I've got some tea in this. I'm just going to spritz it. Just to grunge it up a little bit. I'm just going to grab my heat gun, guys, and just dry that off. And then I shall be back. Okay, I've spritzed it with tea i'm just going to go around the edges with my ink and just grunge the edges up a little bit That's better and i'm just going to stick it on the front of here Like that, just get 
bit a second to grab on that embossing just gonna ink around the edge of that a little bit thinking about whether to put a bit of ribbon or lace at the top there let's have a look what i've got out i've just collect gathered a few little bits i was thinking of some of this leaf ribbon if i can untangle oh it's i'll have to just cut it let's have a look at that see if we can get some of that on might be nice, mightn't it? Just at the top here. Um, I'll probably need my three and one, I think. Oh, that's leaking. I might have to change the bottle in this. I think I've had it on the, the same bottle for a long, long time. I have got a spare one, so I think I'll probably change it at some point. I just have to wait for it to go down the nozzle. <laughs> little bits off right let's have a look come on it's gone so expensive this stuff let me know guys if you use the col colal is it the all purpose whether it sticks fabric and that because i've got about four or five bottles of that and if i can use that for my fabric i'm not going to buy any more of this three in one because the price has just jumped up. I used to get two bottles for about £12-£13. I went on last night looking at it on Amazon and it was £21 for two bottles. It's an awful lot of money, isn't it, for glue. I mean, I know it's good and I do like it, but it's a lot of money to spend on glue. Especially if my uh, collal will work. Down one by one. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Just there. Do I think I need to put some at the bottom as well? Yeah, let's put this other little piece at the bottom here. Right, so I'll use it while I've cut it. Oh, I've had a lovely surprise. Um, my son, who lives up north, is about five hours away from, from us. Uh, he's invited us all down to stay for Christmas. So we're going up north for Christmas for a week. We're going to spend a couple of days with my mum. And a couple of days with my son and his partner and our grandchildren. So it's going to be a really different Christmas this year. We're going to, obviously we can't take all the girls' presents and everything. So we're going to have Christmas when we get home. So I'm so excited. Oh, it's going to be wonderful spending Christmas with my whole family. Apart from my dad, obviously. We lost my dad earlier this year. Which will be hard for everybody. But it, it's such a long, long time since we've all spent Christmas together. I think, I can't remember, it must be about seven or eight years ago. So it's going to be an absolutely lovely time. I'm so excited to spend it with the grandchildren. and we, Yeah, just lovely seeing my other daughter and her partner, me, my sister, everybody. I'm just so excited. So I'm going to leave that for journaling space. We've got that tag there. I think that looks okay, doesn't it, for the moment. Let's just get my journal. Oh, I was going to do that envelope, wasn't I? That's what I was going to do. Let's just see if we can get this back in the journal. Let's have a look at that envelope. Okay, which stencil do we want? I think we'll have that one there. On the wrong way around let's have that one i don't think i'm gonna bother putting it back in the packet 
it's creative expressions and it's by sam pool forget me not the vines so i am just going to i'm going to start off with peeled paint Give it a good shake. Right, let's just spray that. Oh, that's nice. Let's put it on the back. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to dry off each colour in between and then I don't make a muddy mess and then I'll be back. Okay, next I've got my dis. Dress spray vintage photo. Still got green ink on there, that's fine. We'll just spray through. Yeah, that's nice. Let's turn it over. Let's rub it on that side. I will wipe the nozzles in a minute when I've finished. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to dry off again. Okay, and now I'm just going to come in with a little bit of gold just to put some sparkle on there. Just shake it. This is a prism. I don't hunky dory about this for ages. Right. Just going to take my nozzles off and wipe the nozzles. It's important you wipe the nozzles, guys, otherwise they get blocked up if you don't keep them clean. Okay, I'm just going to dry off that gold. So that looks better, doesn't it? A bit more grunged up. Let's just get this and let's just put some ink around the edges. And then I want to put something on the front. Right. I think I'm going to pin it that way, so let's find something to go on the front here. I'm just looking for one of these big stickers. And I think that would be perfect on there, that big floral. Just the space, I'm going to have to cut it off the bottom a little bit, but that's fine. Right, I just need my pokey tool. Uh, I've swapped everything about on my desk, so I'm looking for stuff. Take this off here. Oh, I think I've done it. Yeah. Let's put that down there. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? I could even tuck it under there like that. It's going to go on. Might just put a little label down the bottom. Just down here. Uh, what should we have? One of these. A little number. Just think around this. I'm enjoying working in this journal. I really am. I love doing botanicals and florals. And yeah, I do. I love vintage as well but i enjoy greens and browns and grunge which way does that go that way that. yeah i'm just gonna put that there like that i don't think i'm gonna put anything on this side maybe just something on the a little die cut or something maybe just a leaf let's put that on let's grunge it up a little bit just make the edges a bit darker gold sparkly i don't know whether the camera's picking it up but it's nice and sparkly right there we go well we've done a couple of pages haven't we let me just put my lid on my glue and grab my journal i don't know what i did with the um paper clip i had a paper clip didn't i 
I'm just going to grab my journal, guys. It's just here behind me. <laughs> yeah, I might add another uh, elastic in and do a big notepad that you can take out to write on. I've done that one. We did the flip page there with the pockets. Uh, this was pinned on here, wasn't it? Do you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to pin it on this book page because there's enough on that page. Uh, Miss paper clips i can't get to them at the moment but that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to pin it on there so i'm going to leave it there then guys for today and yeah thank you so much for stopping by to watch i hope you're enjoying the process um yeah and i'll be back soon with a new video so take care bye guys